Essences of Fire and Elemental Fire are two extremely useful regents in Classic WoW. Essences of Fire are used for things like the Fiery Weapon Enchantment and the Enchant Gloves, Fire Power, I think. While Elemental Fire can be combined with Dreamfoil to create Fire Protection Potions, which, let's be honest, every single person is going to want Fire Protection Pots till the end of Classic. They just make raiding BWL and Onyxius and uh, Molten Core even so much more trivial, it's not even funny. So, today, we're going to be spending a lot of time in Ungoro Cor Crater at the Fire Plume Ridge, killing 500 of the Living Blazes. Well... 500 of the fire elementals, because they're scorching elementals and living blazes, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna kill the boss blaze runner hopefully a couple times. So we'll get our we'll get our days in. Oh look at that! First kill, essence of fire. That's awesome. So that's what we're after. They're not worth too much now, but they're definitely a cool little nifty item. I love Ungoro Crater. I was I was thinking about what to do today and. Uh, well, I have a couple good ideas from you guys, and I was going to do one of those, but I was thinking to myself, dude, I literally haven't made a single video in Ungoro Crater. Not one video of the, like, 20-something is in Ungoro, so we had to come here. And of course, we're going to start with the Fire Elementals. So heartbreaking to see a rich Thori invade and not be able to take it. I've spent a lot of time on private servers. Because uh, a lot of the private servers I played on never progressed past BWL. So I I was farming these a lot. Many, many hours were spent on this mountain in my life. Whoa! A blue on our... What? Eye of Edigus on our, like, third kill? That's actually sick, dude. Fourth or fifth kill, we got a blue, got an Essence of Fire. We're killing it. So far, so good. I'm an optimist, I don't like to, to think negative, but if we do have one horde being a dick, this, uh, well, this spot gets a lot more difficult, doesn't it? So hopefully we can split the farm with somebody. We don't have to, I won't have to worry too much about PvP and uh, we'll be able to power through this in a couple hours, but one geared mage with a hard-on for bullying a warrior is gonna make this really difficult for me, so I gotta, I gotta be a little careful. Damn, and these guys have like a little fire strike ability or something that's just making my thick obsidian breastplate proc all the time. I love it. I think it's time. I think we're gonna mess with Blaze Runner here. Now, Blaze Runner is really cool because I know for a fact he has a chance to drop the recipe for the uh, arcane magic potion, I think. I'll put it up on screen now. Which is worth a lot. I think it's the Arcane Elixir, actually. It's worth a decent amount of gold. It's like 100 gold at least on my server. But the normal mobs don't drop it. It's only Blaze Runner, the boss. So, probably gonna have to use uh, some cooldowns on him, but I want that Arcane Protection Pot. I'm gonna Recklessness on him. Just dumb for Damn it, look at him knocking you around. She's fighting with her back to the wall. Oh man, he's free. He's butter. No loot on him our first kill, but we'll probably get him four or five more times throughout the 500. I love the sound of Ungoro. It's... Ungoro might be top three favorite areas in the whole game for me. What are your guys' favorite areas in the game? Mine would probably be... Uh, Plaguelands, number one. Winter Spring, number two. Ungoro, number three. Yeah, so the theme with this spot, like many other spots in this series, I can already tell, is just got to get it all to myself. If I can somehow manage to keep this spot to myself, we might not be here all night. We'll be here a while, but maybe not all night. Oh, Heart of Fires. I forgot about those. They're not worth too much, but definitely a little gravy. And look, this guy's selling the elixir I was just talking about. Interesting. Alright. 
99 living blazes down we got a decent amount of loot we got a blue already three essences five elements i'm happy i'm chilling zero competition so, so far super chill i'm enjoying this spot i really am i think it's gonna be uh i think this next 400 might take you know two or three hours but it's gonna be nice and nice and chill and i have nowhere to be so i'm actually looking forward to spending the night here all right 500th kill what do we grab nothing that's fitting but I don't think we're gonna get nothing. I think we're gonna get some dope loot, but it's a little too easy to, to a little too early to tell. So I will catch up with you guys when we're at 500 total kills. Six and a half hours later. All right, guys. So we are at 499 kills in total. 243 of the living blazes, 238 of the scorching elementals, and then 18 of the boss blaze runner. Now I took a lot of time on this one just because I kind of realized halfway through that I wanted to kill Blaze Runner a bunch to try to get the recipe, uh, which, spoiler alert, we didn't, but I wanted to kind of, like, not power through this one too, too fast, just because, uh, like I said, I wanted to get as many kills on him as possible. So, for our 500th kill, I thought we should go ahead and kill him out of celebration, so let's go knock out this 500th Fire Elemental. Let's see what we get. As tradition, we're going to pop Recklessness. Now, this guy's really cool because he kind of, like, knocks you back. So I, I figured out if you just stand with your back towards this rock, it really doesn't do anything. But we're going to go ahead and blow him up. Let's see if we get anything cool for our 500th kill. A Burning Pitch. Sweet. That's definitely not all we got, though. We got some other stuff. We got... One schematic for the Thorium Rifle, 12 Essences of Fire, 8 Hearts of Fire, 1 Templar Boots of the Bear, an Ornate Girdle of the Wolf, Traveler's Bracer, Swashbuckler's Boots of the Owl, this really cool mantle, I'm sure this will sell for a little bit, a necklace, a blue ring, that's trash, 12 Spirit unfortunately, a nice little ring again, a Rifle of the Owl, 2 Bows, 23 Elemental Fires, as well as 154 Burning Pitches, this is actually crazy, I'm curious how much money we're gonna make from vendoring all these and then 47 pieces of coal there so let's go see what we get when we vendor all of this stuff so we got a total of zero right those guys don't drop any raw silver so we are at zero copper from that farm but when we vendor all of this stuff we get up to a total of nine gold and 47 silver Be off careful. the vendorables for level for mid-level 50s, that's actually not too much. That's actually so little, I might need to move gold over here to sell stuff. But I don't know. Nine gold, 50 silver from all the vendorables. Let's see what we get for the auctions. Alright, so let's look at the goodies here. This thorium rifle is actually pretty cool. I thought it might sell for more than this, but that's alright. Three gold for that. Essences of fire, only one gold each right now. They were worth a lot more a little bit ago, but they're still not, you know, not nothing, right? Hearts of fire are actually more than the essences of fire that's really interesting elemental fire two gold a pop that's not too bad we got four stacks of five for that take that one more at three five gold oh i have to repair these what are you looking for See you all right so five gold for the greens as usual and we will go ahead and disenchant them uh if they don't sell Now, this is interesting. I feel like this is a nice piece. I've seen this drop off on Nixia. So, I guys, call me crazy. Roast me in the comments. I'm going to put this up for 100 gold. Let me know if I'm an idiot or this is too expensive or whatever you think. But I'm going to go ahead and put this up for 100. And I will update you guys uh, on if that sells or not. 5 gold for the necklace. I'm sure that'll sell for a steal. 20 gold for this ring. I guess that's actually not too bad for pre-sealers. No, we'll do 10 gold for the ring. What the heck? 5 gold for the gun. 5 gold for that bow. And 6 gold because this one's actually pretty sick. And then for the boots, 5 gold as well. So that's everything, guys. All in all, really cozy farm. I would recommend that farm if you need something to just kind of do for fun. It's not the most gold per hour, but on your server, if elemental or essences of fire are selling for anything, it's probably worth more. On my server, it's just not, unfortunately, but... My server has a lot of bots, so hopefully yours isn't as bad. Other than that, I think if you're a warrior, I definitely notice, you know, them being elementals. They don't bleed or anything, so that can be kind of annoying. But other than that, super, super easy farm. I think every single one of you guys could go out there and kill 500 of those things in a couple hours and have no problem. Uh, the only thing, like usual, we have to worry about is competition, right? And I think other people are kind of focused on other stuff in the game right now. 
So if you want to go out there and kill some fire elementals, you'll probably have the spot to yourself, I'd imagine. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm rambling. I will leave my Twitch up on the screen somewhere now. Be sure, if you have any recommendations or ideas for the series, leave them in the comments below. I really enjoy the support lately, and the feedback has been out of control. And honestly, the recommendations from you guys are just sick. So please keep the recommendations coming. I love it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Barack H, and I will see you guys in the next one.